Hello, tiny friends. Welcome back to Tiny Keyhole Minis. I'm Jolene, and today I'll be working on this Sherry Colvin man doll. I need to give him a new look, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a makeover. And this doll was gifted to me by Gretchen from Little Gretchen's Workshop. So thank you so much, Gretchen, for gifting me this lovely man doll who is going to become Margot's son. Gretchen had uh, wigged him and then she unwigged him and it looked like he had a little bit of facial hair. So I'm going to clean him up really well to have a fresh palette to start with. I can't have him coming home to his mother looking like this and he'll be bringing his wife. So we have to make sure that he is all cleaned up and looking presentable. I'm going to try removing this glue and hair off with some alcohol and I'm just using some rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab and it seems like it's working pretty well but I had a plan B if it wasn't going to work so this is working fine I'm just going to continue with this it's also removing any of the debris and dirt or paint that's left on here so this should give me a nice clean palette he is a lot smaller than Miss Margo so he looks really puny compared to her and standing next to her. I made Miss Margot according to the house and some of the furniture in the house. So she's a lot bigger than he is and he, I believe he's more of a true 1 12th scale. But it's okay. He'll look funny at first when he first arrives next to her, but he'll be in the yard when I extend the base and start creating outside. So it won't be too noticeable. This is really working pretty well and you can see the difference. Okay, so I tried to leave his eyes and his eyebrows. I really like the fact that she used real hair for the eyebrows because Miss Margot has real hair for her eyebrows, but I accidentally wiped some of it away. So I just had to keep going <laughs> and that's okay because he will have the clothes on that Gretchen made and I absolutely love. I'm going to use some Liquitex matte varnish to prepare his skin and give him a couple coats of this kind of like a base coat um, because I'm really not sure which medium I'm going to go for. I have watercolor pencils, I have chalk pastels, and then I have acrylic paint and I might use a few different ones but uh, no matter what I choose to use I know with a few layers of this, that stuff will grip really well and should take hold and show up really nicely. So I'm going to do his head and his hands, and I'm going to probably give him about three coats and let them dry in between each one. Okay, he's all ready for a fresh face and a new look, and I noticed two of his buttons came off. And I was only able to find one, so I lost one. And I was so upset because I, I'm pretty sure that Gretchen made those buttons. <laughs> so I was kind of upset about that. Uh, I realized that they were polymer clay buttons. So I stopped everything I was doing and made a huge batch of polymer clay buttons. And now I can go ahead and replace the lost button. And I'm also going to add two more buttons to the cuffs of his sleeves. So here's one little button and I'm just gluing them back on with some tacky glue. And here's the other one. I just tried to match the color as best as I can because my brown clay was a little dark so I actually had to paint them. But I think it looks okay. I don't think it's too off and I'm just going to put one right here and then I'll put one on the other side as well. And these ones are probably a little bigger than I would like them to be, but it's okay. He likes them. We'll go with it. <laughs> okay, I'm using a precision cotton swab and I have wet it with water and I'm just using a little bit of brown chalk pastels and I'm only going in to bring out some of his uh, 
details in his face, a little bit of his definition, and just defining some of those features just a little more. I'm kind of just shadowing his features just a little bit. I'm going to use the same technique on his hands and bring out some of those details on his hands as well because his hands were never detailed and they do have a little bit of detail on them. So uh, I just kind of want that to be seen a little more. And I'm going to give his nails a more of a natural nail color later on. Okay, I have all of his facial features and some of his natural definition coming out. And now I'm working on his eyes. So I'm just adding a little bit of white acrylic to his eyes. And he looks a little scary. <laughs> he has no eyeballs. He looks a little undead right now. But while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of natural color to his lips. This will be the same color I add to his fingernails. I don't want it to look like he has nail polish on, but I do want some more detail in his hands. I don't want him to look like he doesn't have any nails either. <laughs> like he just has all skin fingers. Okay, I painted his eyes on and I'm using raw umber and a little bit of black. And now I'm going to go ahead and start his hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of just stipple on the same color. It's a little bit of raw umber and black. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of stamp it and dab it on uh, around his head because this is where I want it to look like it's a close cut and kind of like a shave that tight close cut kind of shaven bottom half of the head and that's what I'm going for with the paint before I add on the hair. I'm going with like a tapered fade for this section of his head for the lower section. So I'm going to do this raw umber mixed with a little bit of black and then I'm going to go over it with a light gray and add some gray into his hair because he is in his 40s. Um, Miss Margo is in her 70s. So even if she had him in her 30s, he would at least be in his late 40s, somewhere around there. So that's what I'm kind of assuming. He's in his late 40s and he should have some sort of gray hair. Everybody grays differently at different ages, but I'm just going to give him some to suggest that he is a how do I want to say, a uh, maturely grown adult. <laughs> not a young adult, but not an old adult. <laughs> he's no spring chicken, but he's a little ripe. <laughs> I'm just trying to be polite about the age thing. I know some people are super sensitive about that. So I don't want to insult him in case he's one of those people. I'm just cleaning up some of the paint around his ears and I could very well leave him bald like this, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that to him. <laughs> so now I'm just going in to add a little bit of the gray. I mean, his bald head does kind of look good like that, <laughs> but he's already told me his name. So I have to kind of try and match his looks to his name because it's kind of like a handsome name. So I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to finish covering the top of his head with the paint as well. So yeah, this look isn't going to suffice his name. That's for sure. He needs to be super handsome. Okay, so I have his head painted and this kind of looks good, but I want to put real hair on him. Now I did wig him and then I unwigged him because I knew in the first place I wasn't wigging him properly and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do anything with it but I was just being stubborn and I was like it's going to work it's going to work and then I couldn't do anything with it so I took it off <laughs> and now I'm going to wig him properly now I'm kind of giving him a few different hairstyles in one which is going to sound really weird but I think it's going to work out so 
I have a nice defined part and then I'm giving him kind of like that taper fade with a comb over and it's kind of going to be slicked back a little. And then on top of that, I'm going to add that little wavy fringe bang to the side. So, hmm. Yeah, it does sound a little crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> and I'm sure it does sound like I'm off my rocker, but we'll see. Let's see if I can put my cosmetology skills to the test here. It's been a while since I've been in the salon, but let's see. I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what this little guy will look like. Don't worry, little man. I'm not going to make you look all cuckoo crazy. I'm going to hook you up. Let's just go with the miniaturist motto and trust the process.
Okay, tiny friends, he'll be back in a little bit to make his debut. And I'm going to work on his cute little cowboy hat that he came with. And Miss Gretchen made this little hat. So I'm not going to change it too much. I'm just going to dress it up a little bit with a few embellishments since he has a new look and he'll have a new life. And now he can have a new hat. I'm going to borrow some of Kiwi's baby feathers that I've collected as she shedded them. And I have a few different styles of feathers. It's okay, Kiwi. You don't need them anymore. They're kind of like her baby teeth. But um, some of these feathers would be really great for a fedora or a woman's hat. So I want to make sure that I get the right style feather. And uh, this straight feather looks like a really good cowboy hat feather. This one probably wouldn't look so bad. I'm going to just try it just to see what it looks like. And it doesn't look too bad, but it's a little off. So um, again... Some of these feathers are just for different style hats and they just kind of look off. So you got to make sure that you're picking the right style feather. I have this little fluffy feather and it's got her little markings on it. And then I have this one. This one will make a really good fedora feather or a lady's hat. But I'm going to go with this one and just trim off the stem and then I'm going to use some tacky glue to glue it in place. And tiny friends, I am so glad that is over with. Who was having flashbacks of cutting their Barbie doll's hair? <laughs> I always cut their hair and it did not look good. <laughs> I guess that's why I went to hair school later on in life. But I can say he does look a heck of a lot better than my Barbies ever did. And that I promise you. I have this feather too. It's been sitting on my desk. So I'm just going to cut it down to a mini size and I'm going to add this to Kiwi's feather. I feel like it needs another feather and I like the way this one looks. I think it might look really good with Kiwi's feather. So I'm just going to trim it down and add it. I also need to add some sort of like metal buckle or some sort of embellishment i'm gonna go through my tidbits and see what i have and i've pulled out a few from this case but i also have these metal ear pongs and i'm thinking if i can find one small enough that might actually look good i kind of like the way that looks but i think that's the smallest one i have and i'm hoping that it looks really good because i really want to use it Okay, one more thing I want to add. I have this brown braided leather belt and I think it's going to look really good. So I'm going to use this. I'm not going to remove the black belt that's on there already because I don't want to risk ripping the hat, uh, taking that off and then damaging the hat. So I'm just going to put it right over it. It's not going to be noticeable and I think it'll be just fine. So I'm just adding tacky glue to this and I'm just going to wrap this right around. I received a package of this brown leather belt from my good tiny friend Gianna at Montarcy's Miniatures. And I believe she purchased this off of Moore's Moore website. But I think it's pretty neat and I love it. So thank you so much Gianna for gifting me this. He's having boots of leather, he's the Lone Ranger, he's a cowboy man, so brave and bold, with his heart of gold, he'll never fold. He roams the wild with his six-shooter by his side, the cowboy man and never hide. With his lasso, he'll round him up, no town and she can't disrupt from sunrise. Till the moon's high, he'll keep on riding, never asking why. He's a cowboy. 
friends this cowboy has a new look and a new name meet cal this is miss margot's son cal and that's not short for calvin but calton he was raised on the farm so he's a hundred percent cowboy he cleaned up like a new shiny penny didn't he and he's very handsome but sorry dolls he's hitched and we'll be meeting his wife next Miss Gretchen, thank you so much for gifting me Cal. I absolutely adore him. And I know Miss Margo is going to be so delighted to have him home again. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you have, please click that like button and give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you think of Cal in the comments below. As always, I like to thank everybody for subscribing. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support. I think this cowboy is ready to come home. So until next time, tiny friends, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all on the mini side. Bye bye. He's a cowboy man who never hides. With his lasso, he'll round him up. No challenge, he can't disrupt from sunrise until the moon is high. In the heat of the sun or the cold of the night, he'll keep on going. Sight. His duty to protect and serve the cowboy man He's got the nerve He's the cowboy man